Hey everyone, in this video we're going to take a look at the process of replicating a brush alpha along a spline and, and do it in such a way that it's rather precise. So what should we use? Well, there are a couple different ways to approach this. You could actually just wait depending on uh, how much deformation you need. If it's just cracks and crevices, you could wait till you have gotten through the retopology stage and merged your model into the paint room and just paint with live displacement or uh, normal maps and use the paint along curves tool. So this is really good for that very purpose. I can right click and scale the points and so on. I'm going to hit escape and choose another tool. Go back to the voxel room. So the equivalent of that, though, in the voxel sculpting room is actually the Curves tool. It uh, works in a very similar fashion. So let's go down to the Object section in the Tool Panel here. Choose Curves. And if you see something that you have created before pop up in the screen, that's no problem. Just clear all. Okay, so let's say I wanted to create this uh, shape along the lips here, there is some uniformity with a little bit of a randomization. So using the curves tool with objects may be an option, but in this case, just a brush alpha is really all I need. So what I want to do is maybe find some scales that I've already created in the past. And I can actually create a brush alpha from any of these objects. So what I'm going to do is, is navigate to the bottom, click on New, Open Texture File, and under Vox Stamps. In this case, I can look through the thumbnails for objects that I may want to use. I need to click on the OBJ file, as you can see. I get this little preview and it's basically like rotating this object in 3D space and 3D code is going to use projection to create a, a brush alpha for me. All right, I'm going to zoom in a bit. I can modify the depth again to make a completely different object or completely different brush alpha I should say. Okay. So with that done, I'm going to click Create. All right. I've already created some others, so I'm just going to use one of these. Just to kind of clean this space up, I'm going to Alt-click on this visibility icon for the head to hide everything else in the scene. So I'm going to click. All right. Now on my Tool Options panel, I can go toward the bottom and click Apply to Whole Curve and adjust the scale. Use the slider here. Okay, and I can click on a point and it'll bring up a gizmo. Right now it's moving the entire thing. That may not be what I want, so I'm going to uncheck that. And I can grab anywhere inside this little circle to kind of move it freeform in the uh, screen space. I'm clicking the center to scale that point. Okay, I can click here and it'll transfer the gizmo to this point as well. So I'm going to right click, go back up to translate brush along curve, make sure that is checked. Okay, now enable options here and if I want to use spacing, I may want to crank that up quite a bit. So I'm going to zero out 
all of these because I don't, really don't want a lot of randomization. If I did, though, I could play with these and also these up here as well. Rotate along stroke. Okay, so you can kind of see how that would work. Go in and modify this a little bit with a regular brush, but at least it gives you a good starting point. And with some further tweaking, we could do a much better job. So I uh, hope this helps, and thank you for watching this demonstration of brushing along the curve in the voxel sculpting room of 3D Coat.